this video tutorial, we're going to go over the menu bar. I'm going to show you how to change the pages that are on your menu bar as well as um, evenly space them out because once you start changing the words, um, they could be smaller or bigger and it could change the spacing in between each word that's on the menu bar. For this um, tutorial, I'm going to be using the Confidence is Key Show It template that you can find on our site at studiomommy.com. When I like to work on Show It sites, the first thing I like to do is I want to see the desktop version. I go back to the mobile side later um, and work on that if I need to, but to make a lot of changes just so I can see everything in one area, I'm going to just use the desktop. So I'm going to click on the desktop icon down here at the bottom. And then I also want to minimize this a little bit so that way I can see everything that's on the desktop. So I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so now I can see everything. So I'm going to click on Edit Menu. And you can see that our items are here. So let's say I wanted to change Services to Book Now. So I'm going to double click on this where it's highlighted in blue and just type over Book Now. Now you can see our words kind of disappear because this box that is around your text, this text box, is too small for that area. So for now I'm going to click the check mark and I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to drag it out a little bit until everything fits on one line. So that shows you that this text box was smaller before, so now it's bigger. So the spacing is kind of not as even as it was before, but I'm also going to show you something just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to move this over some, so that way you can see it's really out of line now. So let's say you're making changes on your site and it's out of line and you need to space these out evenly. One of the things I also want to note is your text box. I would recommend that this text box be as close to the first letter and the, the last letter that you can get it to. So that way whenever you're aligning the words, it will align just around that word. Because let's say if you scoot this out some, now it's going to align around this word, around this word, and this entire box. That is what whenever you align it and show it, that is what gets aligned. So now this won't, if I aligned all of this, it would not align evenly because this text box is very large. So I'm going to move it back. Okay. So what you would do is you're going to highlight everything. I just click and drag on my mouse to highlight everything. And then down here where it says distribute is the alignment that you can use. This one will align your items vertically from top to bottom, but we don't want to do that. We want to align them horizontally across the menu bar. So I'm going to click on this one. And when I do watch these words, cause they're going to adjust and align evenly in this new text box. So now I clicked it and you can see the alignment is better and I'm going to click away and you can see they're evenly spaced now. Um, so let's say this book now you wanted to change where it's linked to. So after you change the word, if you click on click actions over here where it says link is where you can choose which page you want it linked to. And there's other options under click action that you can change it to a URL. Let's say you have an Etsy shop that you want people to um, be able to click on and visit. You can click on URL and then type in that Etsy shop name here. And then you might also want to choose open a new window. That way your visitors don't leave your website. It just opens that Etsy shop in a new window. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.